What's more likely? Never say never, but never. What do you got over there, Suze? Well, I actually have a used a dental pick. I'm going to throw that in the... What's more likely? <laughs> what's, more, what's more likely? That was Suzy's that she's blaming on Brockman, or Brockman just uses dental picks and just leaves it at his workspace? I'd probably blame that What's one more on likely? I'd, I'd say Chris leaving it. I think that's more likely. Suzy, am I right on my first? What what's do more you likely? Think? Okay, very I mean, good. Oh my God. What All else? right. What else? You... What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Chris? Uh, all right. Bay Area rumored to get Super Bowl 60 rich. Okay. Two teams plus played there. Super Bowl 50. Based on the news of the rumors, who's more likely to make the playoffs this year, the Broncos or the Panthers? Ah, I like it. Uh, I'm going to go with the Panthers. I'm going to go with the Panthers. Really? Uh, yes. I'm going to go. Uh, come on, man. One division has Mahomes. Sitting atop it, fresh off of a Super Bowl season and MVP season, right? Mm-hmm. Along with the Chargers and Himmy G's Las Vegas Raiders. And the other one just had Tom Brady retire out of it. And Bryce Young, yes, rookie, um, joining a team that had DJ Moore kept his helmet on, might have actually won it for the interim coach Steve Wilkes. And they're, they have a pretty good team. And as you know, I love their coaching staff. They added Miles Sanders to it. I did put my marker on the Falcons to win the division at this point in time. But as you know, um, the only chess piece that I've moved on that front that I took my finger off of was that the Lions were going to win the North. So uh, I could absolutely see the Panthers win this division. And I do want to see what they look like as the, uh, as the season moves on. But Super Bowl 60 might be in San Francisco, huh? Might be there. We can go right back. I up the love freeway. that. What's looking like? Remember our st- our studio was the, um, was that might have even predated you, TJ. I don't know. Super Bowl Fifty. Yeah, I think in I San was, Francisco. I was producing the man, app for the show. Man. We were in we went in the Presidio, man. Chris Long here at Directv it was just the best. What else you got over there? And if you missed an interview with Deshaun Foster, former Carolina Panthers running back, ah. you can go to YouTube and check out that interview. Look at that. Hey. Look at that. Or Rich, the Rich Eisen Seamless Show Rich collection Eisen here, show on, collection the, on, here the... on Roku. Yeah, no, no, no. Just okay. so you know, you can okay. go to Roku and <laughs> there you how go. I feel about that. All yes. right. Here we go. Ready? Yes. Next up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you guys in line to sign a blockbuster contract, Rich? Yes. We got Burrow. We got Herbert. Yes. Which guy is more likely to make the Pro Bowl this season? Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl. This Brockman thing. Pro Bowl. I didn't write it. I'm Pro Bowl. <laughs> but I'm neither a celebrity nor an actor. Neither of them are going to make the Pro Bowl this season because they're going to come up with a toe injury or something, saying I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to throw. I'm not going to throw and hit. You know, hit a moving target in Vegas. You know, one of them might even be in the Super Bowl. That, yeah. That's... Is there still a Pro Bowl? It's Pro Bowl games and competition right. now and whatever. It's not It's not like when we first started at NFL Network. Um, I'll go Burrow. Look, I'm always going to go Burrow. He, he, I'm always going to go Joe Burrow. I'm always going to lean towards Joe Burrow. And the only one that might cause me to think twice about that is Josh Allen. And, of course, I would go in the other direction for Mahomes because I have now, I'm now done with counting out Mahomes <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. So it's going to go Mahomes and then borrow over everyone else. Then I, if I can jump everyone in Everyone else. I'm going to say I believe that Herbert's more likely to go to the Pro Bowl because I feel like the Bengals are a little better team, so they have a chance yes. to go further yes. in the playoffs. Yes. So therefore, I feel that if one of the two of them goes, yes. I think it'll be Herbert. All right. Okay. What else, Suze? What else you got over there? All right, which retired quarterback more likely to make a comeback in 2023, Matt Ryan or, or Brady. Tom Brady? Get out of here. <laughs> Get out of here. That's easy. Let me move on. It's Tom Brady. If Come on. Did you see that Brady, on behalf of Fanatics, met with all four rookie yeah. quarterbacks yesterday? Mm-hmm. Some great stuff that I saw on, uh, on the old some gems on Twitterverse. Yeah, of course. Come on. Come on. The guy who was in, in South Florida last month and couldn't – Say, you know, I'm definitely retired and, you know, he's just going to root for the Dolphins. Uh-huh. Come on. I mean, Matt Ryan took that job with CBS, but still, I mean. Oh, stop. I mean, he said this is, it wasn't a retirement tweet when he announced that, but I think Matt will be great on TV as well. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go Brady. How much fun would that be? Okay, if it is Brady. Yes. What, where are we seeing? Miami. Him? Yeah. Yeah, where he lives and if Miami needs him. 
the greatest quarterback of all time is sitting at home. You know, they already know his phone number, as we know. So that's where it would be. But, um, but Rich. Yes. But, you yes. see, the word in these streets is that Brady's also looking to maybe buy a little bit of Feller's Raiders franchise. So what if something were to happen with uh, James G? That's okay. not a bad one. Imagine? Would Tommy oh get the God. call? Would he accept the call? Evil is Tom Brady. You know? You would, just, yeah, you'd need a new T-shirt. Yeah. Well. And then how would Raider Nation feel about that? How Can would you Charles imagine Woodson Jimmy G if that? he's like, I can't believe this is happening this guy again. again. This guy again. <laughs> to a it's guy like, who's even better looking than I am. What? How does it's this that, happen? It's that famed Brock Osweiler gif of him thinking he's going in the game only to watch Peyton Manning running out there again. And he's just like... Peyton didn't, Peyton didn't need to take every snap, Rich. I mean, he could have let Brock get a, get a drive in Nuh-uh. at least once. no <laughs> What else, Suze? What do you got? Which recent NFC Super Bowl loser is more likely to raise the Lombardi first? The Cowboys. The Eagles I'll answer. Oh. or the 49ers? Of course, these teams are second and Super Bowl. tied for third in Super Bowl odds right now. The Eagles 7-1, to one, Niners are 9-1, to one, tied with the Bengals and Bills. The Chiefs, of course, the favorite at 13-2. Uh, Jeez. <sighs> I hate to say Yeah, it. I think it's the Eagles. Mm. God, that makes me uh, sick. I think it's the so Eagles. Like, you're having a rough day today. I mean, you know, my emotions are all over the place. I got to pick the Eagles. Ugh. I think I I got to agree with you. Hurts is so amazing. I can't wait to watch him this season again. I, I would go with the Eagles, and I think it could even be this year. How do you like them apples? I wonder if the Sixers could hire Howie Roseman to do their draft. Their process? Well, since, you know, he does so well and it's so ridiculous. By the way, I, would, I think Maury would actually accept swapping roles just for a season. <laughs> Man. Didn't he say that he got a phone call from some from an NFL I franchise so, to yeah. see if he would want to be their general well, manager? He came in a few years ago. I think he did mention right. it. Okay, what else? What's more likely, the conference final scenario when we return on Wednesday, Rich, the Heat up 3-1 or Nuggets up 3-1? Um, of course it's going to be the Nuggets up 3-1. I love Mike Malone. I love talking about the Nuggets. I'm so keen on the Nuggets. I love them. I can't wait to talk about them instead of the Lakers. Is that what, that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> According to Malone, yeah. You don't want to get on his bad side. By the way, is anybody paying attention to Jamal Murray? I mean, honest to God, I'm not hearing his name enough. By the by the way, you're correct. And by the way, remember the last two weeks ago or you had the list of Kentucky Wildcats oh, yeah. that are balling out. And I, Susie, it's and incredible. I, and I'm like, you know, that's beating up Duke any day of the week. They just keep the one night last night Murray shot it over Anthony Davis. Yeah. I mean Susie it was like, Wildcat I, I, on Wildcat Crime. The Kentucky Wildcat, John Calipari's got to be thrilled because it. he's got so many players or he had so many players in this playoffs that were just dominating. How about this? I'm going to go another one better. I'm going to say both wow. are going to happen. Okay. How does that sound? How about that? How about both? It could be. Look. How about how about Heat up three games to one and the Nuggets up three games to one? Jamal Murray last night was, you know, if you've ever played NBA Jam, it was like that. It was like, I'm surprised one of the announcers didn't go, he's on fire. Like, that's, <laughs> it was so amazing to watch this guy. Contested jumper after contested jumper. Like, when you're in the zone like that, it's just beautiful as a basketball Le- fan to watch somebody just get off. Like LeBron that. called it, uh, sometimes it's a never miss league, is what he <laughs> said after the game. Yeah. But, you know, another... Um, long-standing phrase is that a playoff series doesn't really begin until a team loses at home. So we're going to be in Boston for 24 yet. hours. Maybe wear a baseball hat and like a dark pair of glasses. Since you just well, because I just said, oh, it's okay. Don't worry. I'm, 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 you know, uh, I, I haven't been popular in Boston in quite some time. <laughs> I believe there's a ton of Zolak drops from uh, 2015 that are sitting over there. Okay. Where are you more welcome at uh, the Garden or in Boston? Well, I mean, uh, I'm 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 more welcome in Boston. Okay. Because you are kind of, you, you know, know, possibly I banned from. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know if there's any facial recognition apps in Boston that we're going <laughs> to see for 24 hours over the weekend. But we're stopping there on the way to uh, to New York for the Emmy Awards. Nice. What else you got? So, you got any there? I have a couple. Okay. Uh, who's more likely to make the World Series, the Rays huh. or the Braves? Both, of course, <laughs> leading the AL and NL. I'll take the Rays. 
I'll I take the Rays yeah. right now. I agree with you. Oh, well, your Mets took care of them yesterday. We Thank did. you for that. We got a long way hey, to go. And, 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 then, and the, the Mets are definitely going to take down the Braves because they just called up Gary Sanchez. <laughs> exactly. There you go. You see, he had a home run in his first at bat. Mind you, go. it was triple A pitching, but hey, you okay. know, it just takes that one to get you back in the groove, baby. All right. You know, you said Sanchez wasn't doing it for the Yankees, but, you know, sometimes, you know, I got a fortune cookie once and it said sometimes okay. a change makes all the difference in the world. You should, so. you should. Should, uh, maybe you should call up Brett Gardner. Get them all. <laughs> Get all those Yankees. Hey, call up Brett Gardner. Hey, see what he's what, got left. If, he, if he's still a savage in the box, why we will get, take him. Why don't you trade for Gio or Shella? <laughs> Let's get them all. Let's get, I'll take, Let's get them all now while we got the money. Frank Pantangeli agrees. You got one more? Would you like the last one, Rich? Uh, sure, I'll take it. <laughs> now, take into consideration that... This is light lifting, right? I just have to basically read what he is telling me to say. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Yes. Here we go. Ready? Yes. Oh, glasses on. Very. Oh, by the way. Very Bryant. Ve- no, no. <laughs> I was going to go Caruso. Very well, Caruso. Well, uh, let me put the glasses. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> Which Yankee is more likely to have the next cheating scandal? Oh, oh boy. Derek Cole or Anthony Volpe? He's just, you know what? He, just asking you. That's your boy. I didn't write it. I know, the actor. I'm just the messenger. The actor. That's your boy. How about that? How about <laughs> him leaving this stinking bag of poop to marinate for 24 hours and have my, my own wife. My wife. Read it to me and troll me like that. <laughs> it's not nice. It's terrible. Not nice, Chris. I mean, and, it's terrible. You know, I, I hate to go against Susie, it's but she could have terrible. elected not to read that one too. Well, I mean, you you know who I am. Of course, I'm going <laughs> from Massachusetts. Let me I'm look at my let I me look it. at my Apple Watch and see. Oh, 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 I don't have one. I'm just making reference to that we glass see. house stone throw right there from him. I choose not to answer. I refuse to answer. You know that's not acceptable, Rich. Once again, if you want to go to the Roku archives, Rich, if you want to go to the Roku archives. Look at you. I'm just saying, if you want to go to the Roku archive, you can go listen to the Michael K interview from Uh two days ago where he emphatically said it was not cheating. It was not cheating. Aaron Judge was not cheating. But Domingo Herman absolutely absolutely (laughs) was doing something he shouldn't have. And uh, I just want to say that. Um, a 10-game suspension that appears to be very uh, in line and merited. Aaron Judge, by the way, this whole business of looking aside, uh, I thought Michael Kane nailed it. Like, if he has the mental acuity to be able to do that and then hit one 450 million feet. Bless him. Yeah, exactly right. And by the <laughs> way, bless him. That's a, I would agree with that. All right. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> also, I think that the most important tell mm. was Aaron Boone. There was no gum throwing. After that, yeah, he just walked away. Walked away. He goes, "Yep, <laughs> caught me in a lie." <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, twelve to three Eastern, for free.